Okay. Hey, how are you, uh, AG and Irani? It's so it's a pleasure to be here with you all today. Um, I'm my Desire from Big Go Bill Media. Um, I've been a fan of this show for since it started. I usually watch it with my mom. And uh, one of my questions for you is, what do you think, um, what does Black love mean to you? What does Black, <laughs> black love mean to us? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know how to answer that question, quite frankly. I mean, <laughs> like, what do you think it entails? Like, because it's it's different for us, obviously, apart from other cultures. What do you think it entails for us specifically that stands out? Yeah. I That's think it's hard. important that, um, you know, these stories be told and, and, and um, you know, people are able to see that uh, the demonstration of love between you know, uh, our culture. Um, that's not something that is typically seen in, in a lot of movies or in a lot of shows. We're not, we're not represented that way. So I think it's important that these stories be told. All right. Yeah, and one of my favorite movies is Love Jones. So yeah, you know, Black love is, is I, I have to agree with my husband on that one. Like, you know, it's important for, for us to see that because it does exist. It does exist. It's, 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 it's part of our, our lives on a daily basis, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I agree with you. I do think yeah. that, you know, like agreeing with Rod. I think that's that what is. threw me so much because it was like, of, of course, like, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm sorry. No, yeah, I, no, I agree with you. I, listen, I didn't mean to throw you, but I think that oftentimes we we see such a, a weird skewed view of Black love. You know, a lot of our movies and TV shows don't necessarily give you that healthy version. And I think that this show portrays everything that's missing in society. Of course, our movies and our TV shows are getting much better with it, but this gives you substance and allows you to see that it's healthy to accomplish that goal. Exactly, um, and, exactly. So, yeah. And that's so, when... It and, and actually that's one of the reasons why we have loved black love so much over the years, mm -hmm. because it does show that it exists in our community and it's, it's important to see at every level. Absolutely. You know? How do yeah. you feel about being invited to be on this show instead of watching it this season, especially for the finale season? Well, I feel like we kind of manifested that because I kept shouting them out on, on my podcast. Nice. You know, positively gay. We were like, we're here, Black Love. And I guess they heard us. And, <laughs> and we had the opportunity to come on. So we were really, really excited. Like, I've been watching Black Love since the very first season. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, and, it, and it's such an honor to be a part of it. I mean, this show has been fantastic in the demonstration of exactly that, Black Love. So to be a part of it and not just, I mean, we, like she said, we've watched it since the beginning. But to actually be on it and to have, have that experience is, is is everything. Yeah, and to see um, Black love in all generations, you know, like right. from, the, mm -hmm. from younger to, you know, we're like we're in probably our the oldest people. No, we're not yes. the oldest people. <laughs> no, we're not. not. Oldest people. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the oldest people on the show. What, <laughs> but, what I mean, it, it, we hope that we're giving, you know, older couples, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, hope that you know you can still find love absolutely so let me ask you uh, since you've been watching all the season is there anybody like any couple that stood out to you in particular whose story you know you really enjoy seeing from this season, from season any of the seasons. oh um well oh, so Tabitha many. brown yeah Tabitha brown i love um uh dondre and sally whitfield mm -hmm. Um, so oh, the Fredericks! Right, the Fredericks. We actually had the Fredericks on our our, our podcast. Oh, um, nice. okay, yeah, that's amazing. So, let me ask you a question for you, the both of you. What's one thing that you love the most about each other? Okay, I'll let you go first because I have an answer. <laughs> I, have to say, I have an answer for that one. <laughs> I'd have to say everything. Um, no, but don't primarily say our friendship. Like mm -hmm. we're friends before anything, mm -hmm. um, and that kind of carries over into all other areas of our lives. So I mean, we travel together, we talk on the phone all the time, um, we do a lot of things together, and I enjoy being with her. Um, so I think that's the thing I love most. Like I never tire of her. I never get tired of being with her. 
That's I love that answer. <laughs> um, one of the things that um, I, I love about Rodney so much is that, I don't know, it's something about his energy and the way he cares for me that keeps me grounded and keeps me stable and I feel safe. You know, um, he he accepts me as I am, and that has not been the case in in other relationships. So that's gotcha. that's what I love um, most about him is I love how he loves me. Mm, that's powerful, actually, and a, an amazing answer as well. Um, okay, so let's see. I think, of course, I'm I'm. I would consider myself young <laughs> and in this dating world in 2022, which is crazy. So my question to the both of you would be like, what's your biggest piece of advice? Like what's the, the, the most solid thing you could think of that you would impart on those of us who are looking to be in a healthy, long-term committed relationship? Um, you know, one thing I have to say is that I don't know, sometimes I, I feel like when people are, seeking it and looking for it, it doesn't necessarily come. I think, I think love kind of, you find it kind of organically. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I, you know, I don't know about using apps and, you know, like match.com and all of that kind of stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. I, I find that if you just kind of live your life, and go out and experience the world that you'll 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 meet someone who is like-minded but I think the most important thing is when you're looking for someone you gotta find someone that you really like I think friendship is so important in a relationship because at the end of the day you're gonna go through stuff you know what I mean and you gotta like the person that you're trying to create a life with. It's not just about, I think love comes after that. You gotta like the person, if I'm making any bit of sense. No, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I also think that, um, you know, you should you should do the internal work on yourself and yeah. be prepared when it shows up. Because for me, this relationship would not have worked for me 20 years ago. I, I just wasn't in the right space yeah. for it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, I think when you when you're ready for something and you're really ready by doing you know the work you need to do on yourself, that that it'll show up and you'll you'll be prepared to take advantage of it. Yeah, that's 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 a good point too. You gotta you gotta kind of come to the relationship whole. Right. You know, I don't I don't know about. Um, I always think about the the statement that. Um, you know, you hear people say he's my better half and, mm-hmm. and all of that, but you got to come to the relationship whole and the, your partner is not responsible for your happiness and your joy. You're responsible for your own happiness and joy. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? That's a big so, part of it. Yeah. And be looking for love when you, when you find that person, don't be looking for something else. You know what I mean? Don't be looking for half the mortgage to be paid or... <laughs> Okay, Rodney got jokes. Okay. You know, be looking for love and love will show up. But if you're looking for a lot of other things, you know, and have expectations and, and conditions, then it probably won't work. That's that's amazing advice. Uh, I, and I, I totally agree with you. And um, so my final question for the two of you is, what can we expect to see from you on the final season of Black Love? Is there anything in particular that, you know, anything juicy but you can't tell us too much you know yeah, we'll see. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know if we have anything all that juicy I think that the, the most important thing for us was that you know I've been in in uh this is my fourth marriage and it's like I I didn't give up I didn't give up on love you know I love yeah. love and you know yeah and for me you know this is my first marriage so I got married at 60 which is which that's is, different that's different um, well, you don't look sissy, and so you know. But <laughs> any, like Jamie said earlier, you know, like love is everywhere, and I think that that's a good point. Is that I think right. some people do get discouraged when they're older, um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, like because I'm I'm 38 right now, so it's it's been like 
a very interesting journey, but I actually have a tattoo that says, I love love. And like, when I got it, the tattoo artist was like, you've got to be like a fairy tale type of girl. And I was like, no, I just, I just think that it's exciting. You know, I think I believe that that's what the world needs mostly. Um, Absolutely. But if, you know, if we are actually loving ourselves, like you said, Rodney, and we do the work on ourselves and then we're not looking for it. So I'm about to just delete all my apps because Gammy called me out when she said, I was like, <laughs> I was looking at my phone like, dang, I'm going to have to, okay. But, you know, seriously, I think that um, this type of moment to share with you, the both of you, but also to have Black love to show that it can be done, that you don't have to give up. You just got to be consistent. And then at some point in time, you just got to keep believing. I think that's the part that a lot of us kind of, you know, by the wayside, we kind of forget to believe that, you know, I, my dad is just now telling me like time is I know people say like time is of the essence but he's like you have time which is weird to hear at 38 because you're like what like yeah no, you have time you have time live your life and live your life you know enjoy travel just think of all the things that that you want to do you know that you yeah. might have where you might meet someone you know I don't know well, I, yeah, and I, I think that people should use the apps I mean I, I don't see a problem with that. I think that. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that, yeah, you know, well, it's it's just a crazy world out here. So everything it is, is. You, know, you know, but I thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, of course, I've, you know, Kim, I've just seen you on multiple things and the way that you talk of your marriage and um, finally being able to see the di- the dynamic between you, Rodney, is a very, very uh, amazing thing. So thank you so much for taking the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I can't wait to see y'all's story. I'm so excited for the final season. I hope I don't cry too much. I always cry every season. But anyway, you know, um, but thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. All right. Thank you so thank much. You. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Me too. Big old bell.